Home Depot, Depot come to our town. And in regard to that indenture lease and development agreement, what is common in the in the industry and financing those projects is an assignment of the lease and the basic basically the, the, the lender will advance the funds for someone to build that facility and then that facility is financed through industrial revenue bonds and then the uh, result is that that finances financing is in place and the lease and the property stand good for the for the uh, for the collateral for, for the loan and that's what's happened since 2008 and then and it, there was a, a construction individual entity that must be SMBC leasing the huge conglomerate that does large in construction and they built the facility for Home Depot. Uh, that, that, those documents were sold later in the year to uh, Inland America Valosta Logistics Company and now we've been contacted by a group out of Pittsburgh which is uh, it's, a, it's a strange, uh, it's actually it's in a REIT but it's, a, it's, a, it's an entity called ARC HR5 VA GA 001 LLC. But what they're doing is they're, they're putting a number of these Home Depot facilities to the tune of about $700 million and putting them together, buying out these number of leases, and then financing. The uh, general counsel uh, and I talked last week and we talked again today. They're asking us to sign, which is customary in these type of things, it's a ground uh, stopple certificate and a security deed of, of uh, a security deed as a leasehold interest. They pledge the leasehold interest in the dirt and they put, pledge that to a lender and the lender then cons provides them with a bunch of money to buy all these leases out and they put them in a, in, in a real estate investment trust. So uh, I do not have all the documents that I'm going to need to review to make sure that the consent, I would like to ask that the, because they're trying to close before the end of the month, I'd like to ask <clears throat> permission for our chairman to sign these documents after I get the final documents and after I have an opportunity to review some of the 2008 documents. It will be a, an estoppel certificate, it will be a consent, and it will be a uh, leasehold deed to secure debt and assignment of lease. All we're doing is saying that we consent to those documents. We're not liable for any part of that $700 million, but basically that's, that's how they do it. So it's not, un I mean, it's customary to do this particular thing. In our initial documents, I'm sure I'm going to find the fact that we've agreed to already do that if we're asked. So, but I would be sure to check that. So that's my report. You just need a formal okay? Yes. Or an informal okay? Yes. No, I, I, it'd probably be better to do a formal if everything checks out like we think it will, to allow the chairman to sign these documents for the request of the person. So I need a motion from somebody, approve, you know, that we uh, have permission to sign the documents to approve the uh, consent. Can you give me a, a, a vague description of what an estoppel is? It, it means that we won't try to accelerate the lease if there's a technical default we will give this assignee and this lender the right to catch up the payments if they're meaning. So. I move that we give the chairman the opportunity to sign this document uh, after uh, Steve has, has approved all of the, uh, the, the upcoming documents. Thank you very much. Anything else, Steve? That's all I have. We do have the contracts ready on the mowing and the, and the landscape, but I'll get Andrew to sign those. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, citizens to be heard. 